Cracking down on gas gouging. Attorney General Dana Nessel handing down a cease and desist order to this BP gas station off Middle Belt in Romulus, right by the airport, finding it was charging up to $1.50 or more per gallon than nearby competitors. By the time we got out to these pumps, the prices for regular were around $4.09 if you're paying with credit. $4.09 in credit, you think that sounds fair? So the, if it's 409 in credit, then that means the regular cash price would be 399. Uh, is it above market average? Absolutely, by by not much. That's Marvin Haydar, the owner of this BP, on the phone with me. He says he feels targeted by this AG and says that other nearby stations are doing the same, if not worse. We take great pride in our quality and customer service. And our store has been serving the community for X amount of years at that at that same rate. I mean, gas has always been a little bit above average due to uh, the real estate. And then if you look around the store, you see that there's public restrooms. The place is clean. It's a safe place. It's a great environment. And we'll always get tremendous customer feedback at that location. We put that claim to the test. Uh, what do you think about these gas prices? Uh, they are very high right now. Uh, $4 just for regular uh, it seems a little outrageous. The attorney general uh, is looking at this place for price gouging gas. Mm, really? Yes. I did not hear about that. Okay. Yeah, it just came out. She sent them a warning. They got to lower their prices by January 8th. I can see that because this is completely different from the closer you get into the city. Gas gouging, plain and simple, is people are charging a heck of a lot more than the going rate. And they think they're justified. And in the long run, they're not. Melanie Ducanel with the Better Business Bureau says, if you suspect a business of gas gouging, make sure to get a receipt and report it to the Attorney General's office. Dana Nessel has given this BP until January 8th to make a change. Do you think you're going to lower your prices? Well, what happened was we reached out to the Attorney General's office as soon as we got notice of that letter and um, maybe four or five phone calls. We haven't got a phone call back, but of course, when they do reach out to us, we would like to come to an agreement, right? In Romulus, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.